Okay, peeps. So this is going to be a message for my fire signs, which is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, on why they coming back. What's the real tea? Why they are coming back, fire signs, okay? Are they coming back because they truly sorry, they truly want you? Or are they coming back because of the need of you and not necessarily the want of you? Catch my drift, okay? So... If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't, okay? And this is for all my fire signs. Um, yeah, because I just feel like there's so much shit going on. I just feel like, you know, just get some clarity about, you know, we are in the sixth day of 2020. And a lot of crap going on, okay? A lot of crap going on already on the sixth day in this world, okay? So you need to be with somebody in a space to where what? What your life is, you know, like there's a sense of calm. You know, not, not stormy seas. Like, why are they really coming back? But what I will say to you is that just make sure that you follow whatever you do, okay? We live in a time we have to think with our heads, not with our hearts. And it is sad to say that, but it's true. You know, follow that high priestess. You watch Tarot, follow that high priestess mode. I'm trying to tell you. Follow it. Don't second guess yourself with anything no more in your life, especially when they come down to love because you can let somebody in your life and they come and just F up your whole world, F up your money, your mind space, your house, bringing all this devil energy, you know? So, okay. I'm going to shuffle the deck three more times. One. Two. Let's see why they coming back. Oh, shit. I'm not going to take that one. I messed it up. One more time. Let's see. Why they coming back? Let's see. Let's see if we can get a clear image of why they coming back. The hang man. They sat there and they realized that they have. I feel like missed an opportunity with you. They feel like you have sacrificed so much for them. And now they want to reconcile. Is it reconcile or reconcile? Well, they want a reconciliation with you, okay? Um, I'm just hearing like them saying, why cry over spilled milk? You know, um, they just have decided that. I feel like this energy here is basically saying that they are going to communicate with you. They just, some of them, I'm hearing like, I can't see this person taking me back. But they're going to give it a shot. Three of Cups here. They're going to give it a shot because I honestly feel here it's like, I feel like that person put you in a third party situation. I honestly feel like looking at this, even though this is like a crossroad about or decisions, I feel like looking at this, like this person could possibly like, I'm getting energy where this person just like, okay, they see that you are happy. That they know that you are happy Intu intuitively. Like they know that you are going out and rejoicing. Like you are rejoicing without them. I'm hearing for some of them, too. I don't want to see this individual being happy without me. Okay, so now that could be mixed um, messages. I mean, so that could be like, once again, why are you really coming back? Holy Spirit, what other messages that you have here? Yeah, they just feel like, you know, they want to start over. But it's like, hmm. When they miss it, when it's gone, man, I mean... Right now, fire signs, I feel like you guys are really enjoying yourself. You guys have actually decided to enjoy yourself, you know? I feel like you're basically saying, you know, what's in the past in the past, and I'm not going to let this person have me in this stagnant energy anymore. No, oh, no. Let's figure out what other message you have here. Okay, so you got the King of Swords here in reverse. You have the Four of Pentacles here in reverse. You have the Lover's card here in reverse. 
And you have the Six of Cups here in reverse. Some of you right now are in a situation where um, okay. I'm getting that some of you right now are in a situation where you are spending too much money on an individual. You're spending too much money on a lover. This person is really not there for you with this King of Swords here in reverse. You're spending too much in the lover's card here in reverse. This person is not going to leave you, though, because of this. And both of these energies, do not trust what that person is telling you. Let me see. What other message that you have here for fire signs? Why are they coming back? This person possibly could have missed, for some of you, um, this person could have possibly missed the fact of what you have done for them, like financially, and that could be why they are coming back. They're going to tell you a bunch of lies, I feel. This person has not changed. They have not moved from that thought process of how they are. Mm-mm. Holy Spirit. Why is this person coming back? Could you please clarify? I'm hearing Aries. I'm saying Aries. Dang, this may be for Aries. This person, like this Five of Cups, they miss what you spend on them. They realize all that you have done for them. They realize that the fun times that, you, that they had with you, but I feel like they took you advantage. They took you, they took advantage of you. This is what I'm feeling. Let's see what other message you have here. Fire, fire sign, why are they coming back? What other message that you have here? You got the four of pentacles in reverse again. The hermit card. The hermit card here. Hold on. The world. Two of wands. I'm sorry. And the devil card. I feel like some of you with this, with this hermit card here, you have really... This person may have possibly, I don't have any pages here, like no offering. This person could have possibly offered themselves to you already. But you have, like, really have had, like, with this hermit card here, and this is dealing with the Virgo. You possibly could be dealing with the earth sign with this four of pentacles. That some of you have, ba you have basically, like, really researched the whole situation and realized that, yeah, I feel like you did too much for this person. Like, you just... You just went overboard with this person. Like, this person really took advantage of you. But I feel like now that some of you, that since this person has gone away with this two of wands here, now you feel like you have a world in your hand and you're, and you're complete now because you got rid of this devil toxic energy. The devil card here in reverse. So some of you at this point could have possibly got rid of this individual. Okay. That's also could that that also uh that could also mean what the four of pentacles here in reverse you possibly could have released that individual or you realize that you did too much for that individual that person here clearly knows that's what they are missing this is why they want to come back to you because they want to come back to you for for not so much like I said the want of you is the need of you fire signs okay this is what I am getting here. Let me pull out a 
Hold on, guys. If I'm looking for my decks, I cannot find it. So that being said, I'm going to pull out Reach Your Big Calm. Let me pull out these. Um, I know it's a love deck. This is like a love reading, but I just want to pull these cards out. This is these cards, these oracle cards is not so much about love, but when you have people trying to come back in your life and some of you trying here sitting back and making decisions, maybe you need to hear like a grounding message. Not so much a love message, but a grounding message. Because I honestly feel like if a person walked away from you or you had to get rid of someone with this type of toxic energy, it's a reason why. So you just need to be sure of your decision. Let me see what it's saying. So right here, I'm going to pull this one. It doesn't matter. You can convince yourself that it does, but it doesn't matter. I feel like for some of you, don't let it matter. Okay, like some of you may feel like all the time and stuff that you have invested in this person. Okay, let me tell you, it doesn't matter when a person don't want to reciprocate it back to you. Or if they're only coming back to you because um the need of you. Okay. It doesn't matter at that point. It's still an empty cup. Just know that. It's not It's not full at all. Because I feel like this person, they're still on a toxic level. Release your limited beliefs. Anything is possible. Everything is possible. Expect miracles. I feel like for that card, this is for some of you believing that you will not find love and you will. But I'm going to tell you something. If you got that devil energy sitting up there with you, you are blocking the love coming to you. Okay, creativity. Your healing is a work of art in original lifestyle sculpture. I am feeling from whatever you guys have went through in your relationships, healing, write about it. You know, sometimes you need to write down or even keep a journal of what's going on. And go back and read. Keep a journal of, I'm hearing like, keep a journal of like the events that happened to you while you was with that person so that you do not repeat the process. And guess what? Here, trust. Release the world. And you will, you will both spend more freely. Control is an illusion. Set yourself free and trust that you will handle whatever comes your way. I love you. Trust that the universe has something better for you. Do not accept this when you know that that toxic energy is coming back. Stop thinking that there's no one out there for you because it is. But do not let this other energy come in to block you from the miracle and the person who, who is meant for you. Okay, so with that being said, I am K Star Life, K Star Moon Life after. Like, share, comment down below, and I will see you next time, Fire Signs.